woods ahead. Okay. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. So I have no batteries for this flashlight, so this is going to be dangerous. Ouch. Ouch again. I need to find like a mother load of batteries or something here. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. I need to find either batteries or a weapon because if I use this last battery, I'm screwed. Speaking of batteries, um. Yeah, I'm gonna use the heavy duty one. Even though I said last time <clears throat> start my surgery out. Even though I said last time about how like the, the heavy duty one kinda sucks. Uh at the same time it consumes uh battery life slower. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I just wanna look around here. I don't see anything else of real interest up here. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Hope the god it's not Barry. Seated in my dream. The dark presence at large. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Oh shit. I forgot all about these freaking traps. God damn it. Patients escaped the lodge. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before.
Let there be light. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Well, yeah, but you still only have four batteries for your flashlight, so. That chance of that happening. That's a trap. Oh! God, I didn't see that one. Stuck. Yeah, that was my fault. I got stuck on the branch and then I was trying to run away at the same time. Every time. Well, hey, we should knock me out of there. Thank you. Holy damn. I got hit by the trap and I got hit by that guy, so. They don't give you a whole lot of stamina either, so I didn't know what they really expected me to do there. That was actually a better plan that I time around. The car, but there was no sight of the driver. I do have the flares too, so. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry. Ah! Ah! No, Danny, you're not. Ah! Please. Ah! What are you? What are you? Ah! No, don't. I'm sorry. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up. To a real good movie. The best friends. Suddenly the bad guy. Who, who wrote this crap anyway? 
why that would be me. Alan Wake, the writer. Um. Oh, here we go. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Hmm. So it seems the next part of the story, uh, if I was following that correctly, is that he's going to find some way to implement himself into it, or like some way for him to uh, save Alice into it. for this battery recharge. Okay. The front door was locked. Out the window you go. It was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. So then who drove the car up here? Was it Danny then? Or was it the guy that we just found uh, that was attacked? Another thermos here I want to get real quick. Alright, get back in the car before the darkness comes. Fuck. I see another thermos right there that I want to grab. I see a collectible and I stop I'm like, oh, let me get that. <laughs> Especially when it comes to um, if I see any like ammo or anything lying around, I definitely want to get that. Oh my god damn.
I do like that you can actually run them down with the car though. That actually is uh, kind of helpful. Even though the car is kind of taking damage. So the question is how do you get up into the farm? Do you gotta... I assume you probably gotta call crawl on that um crawl i assume you gotta climb into the uh, the truck bed over here it's blocking the gate from uh you driving the truck through it or actually no there's a gap right okay she's so gonna get out of the truck then there's a gap right here in the fence that you can go through is there anything in the truck bed though that's the question no you can't climb into it Oh, charming. Even more charming. Guess what I need? 50 million things trying to kill me. And succeeding. And my body went flying. It was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Well, I gotta go all the way back down there, too. Holy if shit. Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far. That's drift, though. But Barry was Barry. Okay. I get these services again. I probably already counted them, but just be on the safe side. Yeah, I'm not surprised who's gonna spawn these assholes. And that's how you solve that problem. So now what I need to do is spawn these guys, run back here, and get back in the car, and then take them out. Yeah, okay. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Did I always take one of them out? I did. Son of a... Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Put this down.
Well, you guys better back up. You have better ways to things, but it was worth it. That was annoying. Thankfully that one didn't take me as many tries as a couple of the other ones have done, but still. Oh, over here in the gap, duh. Let me uh, go back into the light real quick, just in case. I have six shots in my shotgun, I gotta make them count. Hopefully there's more coming up soon. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Ow! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! God damn! Huh. Okay. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Watson. Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight them all. This should be fun. Ow. This place is stacked, he says, as I die. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Ooh. Heavy duty lantern, don't mind if I do. Ow! We have to fight them all! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, all right. Shit. There's way too much happening around me at once that it's hard to freaking concentrate on just one guy because there's one guy coming on this side, there's one guy coming on the other side. And then I get pinned in a corner. Whew. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Johnson. Shut up and shoot. All right, I gotta go run over and get that shotgun. Oh. 
Okay, dude, I don't need you to bum rush me. I don't need you to football shoulder tackle me, okay? I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight him off! All right, so what I need to do is I need to get to the front of the stage and get those flares and those flashbangs because if I keep getting in the pinch like this, it's not going to work out in my favor. All right, now I need to go and get that lantern. Ow! We have to fight them all. I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. There we go. You stay back. Haha! -ha. That's what I call a good takedown. Oh, hi. <sighs> oh, it actually gave me a, uh, a checkpoint. Nice. Save that uh, that shotgun for actual important uses. Holy shit!
I agree. I think that was pretty awesome. <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> I died a couple times, yes, but still, that was a ton of fun. Seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. <laughs> we need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. I mean, I have that song stuck in my head now. <laughs> Warrior, touch bearer. I can't fault it for uh, being good sequence though. <laughs> like I said, that was a ton of fun. <laughs> I think I see what you did there. Yeah. yeah. It was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> I won't be surprised if this drops and separates me and Barry again. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff. Night Springs. We all spend oh, oh, Night Springs. Man, it's back to memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Is this one of your episodes? In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Ah, that's by someone else. Ammo. I wish we would have had both the shotgun and the hunting rifle, and you didn't have, you weren't forced to pick between the two because nine times out of ten, I'm gonna choose a shotgun. <laughs> if there's a situation that calls for it, then maybe I'll use the hunting rifle. But yeah, a lot of times I'm drawn to the, uh, especially when it comes to the uh, the pump back action shotgun because. That seems a lot stronger to me than the, the normal shotgun. The Anderson brothers in the 70s. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field. Naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Just want to look around. Oh. The old gods of Asgard, the 1975 Ragnarok tour. Be awed by Celestial Wrath and Fury. April 11th in Seattle, Washington. April 13th in Bakersfield, uh, I almost said Canada, or Connecticut. <laughs> A Bakersfield, California. April 14th in Long Beach, California. April 17th in New York City, New York. April 18th in Newark, New Jersey. April 22nd in Detroit, Michigan. April 26th, Jacksonville, Florida. 
April 27th, Tampa, Florida, April 30th, New Orleans, Los Angeles, and May 1st, Baton Rouge, Los Angeles. Oh, that's not good. Why do these guys insist on trying to jump me every single time? Now I'm gonna have to wait for my health to regen a little bit. <laughs> and plus it also gives time for the battery to go back up. Should also maybe reload my shotgun. And my revolver. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. Again, I got jumped. What do you want me to do?
I feel bad that I had to waste a lot of ammo for my shotgun there, but it was worth it. a new single good luck with that pal the door was hey, barred from the other side here, okay? i'd have to find another way <laughs> nothing there be careful Al. I'm good. One of those things just tried to jump me again, but you know, no big deal. Whoa, the way he climbed on the ladder there first, what the hell? some power to it first. I could see the building. It had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. The way he kicked it. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh, son of a bitch.
anything of use in here. Okay. The lantern seems to be the best light so far, honestly. Because <clears throat> it seems like it, um, it dissipates the darkness around them fast. Just shoves it with his shoulder and one, two, three, easy. <laughs> We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Come on, one more gig. All right, what lies inside the Anderson household? The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Fuse box is upstairs, it looks like. Just gonna look around here, make sure there's no ammo or anything to pick up. Another coffee thermos there. Hey, drone set. Power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were under the booby hatch. The mystery of the missing week. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Let there be light. It's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Old gods know the truth. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. I'm a writer, goddammit. I write ten books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. 
I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. This is that page we were talking about that we just found. Find out what happened to you. Moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out Alice? what had happened. Alice. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Oh, I, I can't go upstairs. Thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Oh, that's right. I gotta go over here. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. <sighs> So we swam out of the water. Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice. And so she had me. Alice. <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. So the woman was there when he dived into the lake, and then he swam out of the lake the and then told him to go back up to the me. cabin. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. That explains she that. Okay. Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. 
Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zeng was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. I kind of looks like he's wearing a diver's helmet. Confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. And this is how I woke up on the um, in the car. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. Yep, this is exactly how I woke up in the car. And fading fast. to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Yup. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Holy shit. That is how you end an episode right there. End of episode four. Holy shit.